Go back in your cave and play a game. Shut up, I'm trying to film here. Welcome to Dr. Sexy's channel. I'm Dr. Sexy. No, I'm just kidding. Welcome to Tech of Tomorrow, and today is the launch of the new Ivy Bridge eCPUs. We were lucky to get our hands on the new Ivy Bridge Dash E4960X. We've been testing it out on the X79 platform. Now, right behind me, I have the Inwin test station. This thing's really cool. It's their X Factor like thing. You guys can see it behind me. Now, I'm using the Asus Rampage Extreme motherboard. That's their X79 series had to flash the BIOS to its latest update to make sure it recognized the CPU but after that everything was absolutely fine. As far as the memory goes 32 gigabytes of Patriot Viper Extreme. We've got it set its XMP profile one at 1866 megahertz. As far as our drives go, we have a couple of them. For our SSD boot drive, we have a 520 series from Intel. That is a SATA 3, it's 240 gigabytes. And for our mass storage drive, we have a Western Digital one terabyte standard hard drive. The cooling is provided, as you guys can see, by the course their H90, which is back there. It works very well, and Intel actually recommends that you use liquid cooling on these CPUs. Now, we use two CPUs in our test setup, the 3960, that was the Sandy Bridge. That's what we did the initial testing. We removed that CPU, and we put on the Ivy Bridge 4960X. Now, you guys can see everything's laid up behind me. It's open air test bench. It's very easy to work with. All the controls and everything are right there in the front. So we just hit a button and away we go. Now, if you somehow didn't notice, there are a pair of GTX Titans on the test station. We tested with those and a single GTX 780. Now, for the Haswell side of things, we use a different motherboard. We used the Maximus Hero motherboard. That's on the new Z87 platform. And we use the i7. 4770K. Now, one of the drives was actually different. The memory was very similar. It's also the Patriot series. It's red, and we had that set also at XMP profile, 1866 megahertz. But for the SSD and boot drive, we used the Patriot Pyro 240 gigabyte drive. As far as the hard drive for storage, we used the same Western Digital one terabyte drive. So those are our test stations. We thought they were pretty damn similar. They're all kind of the same spec. We tried to maintain using the same control across the board so as far as apples to apples testing goes this is pretty damn close now nothing's going to be totally exact but i think this is about as close as you can get if you guys are looking to buy these parts want to reproduce this test station at home you guys can check out the link down below the like button which i know you guys are going to hit and you guys can see all these parts if you want to recreate your own test system or build a system based around these parts it will be down there so if you happen to somehow miss it we have the full review and all that stuff right up here behind me. You guys can click on that and you guys can see the full review and all the scores if you guys want to see it before the next video. The next video is the Haswell versus the Ivy Bridge E. So I'll see you guys in the ring.